Um, hello everyone, uh, my name is Stas Sultanov and I'm working with Bankex as Azure Architect and DevOps. I've been kindly asked to record a short video which would describe the way we're currently utilizing Microsoft Azure to deploy our solution. Well, uh, first of all, I'd like to mention that uh, in fact, um, Microsoft Azure is a set of uh, services uh, which uh, you can uh, utilize to assemble your solution, and we're currently doing this way. Uh, we're utilizing five most powerful uh, services from Azure. It's uh, uh, Azure Active Directory, uh, Storage, App Services, Application Insights, and Visual Studio Team Services. Uh, the first one uh, is Azure Active Directory. It is an identity as a service, which uh, currently provides uh, access and manage access of our uh, team to the, all the services which are hosted on Azure. Uh, the second one is a uh, storage. It's a durable, robust, and a scalable storage solution, uh, which allows us to store all the assets which were uh, the, which are deployed uh, and stored uh, uh, within our solution. Uh, the second one is App Service Plan. This is a very powerful tool which allows us to host our web application. Uh, by the fact, it's a set of virtual machines with a load balancer and orchestrator, uh, which allows us to easily deploy and manage uh, uh, the web solution which we're creating. Uh, <clears throat> Also, we utilize application insights. Uh, this is uh, this service allows us to monitor uh, the way our the way our solution is currently performing and uh, proactively uh, take decisions uh, whether there is a need uh, in the intervention from the side of developers and they should take appropriate actions if only uh, any error or something uh, wrong has happened uh, on the environment and we get this information right before our customers submit an issue. Uh, the other, the last one is uh, Visual Studio Team Services. It's a solution lifecycle management tool, uh, which currently allows us uh, to encapsulate all the artifacts and processes which are, uh, happens during the lifecycle of our solution. Uh, we host uh, the, uh, uh, the public, uh, the private part of our solution, all sources of our uh, solution on the Visual Studio Team Services. Uh, we utilize uh, some modern uh, DevOps. Uh, 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 DevOps practices like uh, continuous integration and continuous delivery uh, to build, test, and deploy our solution uh, in the shortest time possible. Uh, currently, it's allow us to deliver our solution. Uh, uh, deliver all the changes of our solution as fast as only possible. Uh, as far as you know, we have a public and private part. Uh, the private part of our solution is a web application, which is managed by us, and the public part of our solution is uh, this is our contracts, uh, which uh, deploys to Ethereum, and this part is hosted on GitHub. Uh, <clears throat> Visual Studio Team Services allow us to grab these uh, uh, sources from uh, GitHub uh, to build them and uh, to test them. And uh, if only all contracts uh, are valid and all tests has passed, uh, the system will automatically uh, deploy them to Ethereum testnet uh, and after to the production version of Ethereum. And uh, this way we uh, utilizing continuous integration and continuous delivery pipelines. Uh, well, uh, from here also we can navigate to our uh, web part, uh, private part of our solution, uh, which is um, a web application which is hosted, uh, which is written on Node.js and Angular, and uh, also it is uh, deployed uh, to Azure with help of continuous integration and continuous delivery, which is provided by Visual Studio Team Services. Uh, well, I believe that's it. Thank you, everyone. Bye.